All right, it is April 15th, 2020, that we are coming out of the dark. It's like 17 hours 30. That makes it what? Um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock 30. The Java station is closing. They took all my change. That was nice of them. They took pity on me. They gave me a, a double red eye for three bucks. And um, they gave me a free muffin. So I'm coming out of hiding. I'm going to eat a little. Oh, look at that color. That's amazing looking. Mmm. The kindness of strangers. This feels like less than zero. I don't know if you guys have read less than zero. But there's a part where, I believe it's the end, where the protagonist comes out of uh, a nightclub. He's been partying with these... Um, Oh, people were talking about this online the other day. Uh, Peruvian, Peruvian marching bands, right? Marching, my, marching powder for these Peruvian bands, something like that. Bolivian marching band powder. But he's got no more, right? And now he's all strung out. The, the girls who were hanging with him in the nightclub in New York City, right, have ditched him for better prime um, meat. This is happening in the 80s, aren't you understanding me? This uh, less than zero. But the character, he's on his hands and knees, just people are kicking at him in the alleyways. You know, he's just crawling. They won't even let him be, just let me be. I'm gonna have enough of a hangover tomorrow. But he smells this bread like this. And he hasn't eaten for weeks, right? He's on one of those kind of binges. And he's able to get this bread for free from a bread maker. Who takes pity on him in the streets of New York City. At like four in the morning. Hmm. And I think he felt like me right now. I'm thinking this wonderful Java station. Now I'm happy to be alive again. And I've decided I've got to go to Slab City. It doesn't matter if I'm going to make every excuse not to go. So the car has been fixed. The one that we need to do this trip it's waiting for us we could just grab that key fob and just go except it's not like this car I'm registered and I haven't even pushed myself to even go to the DMV I doubt I have enough money to even cover that and then I got a license that is out, right? It should be reissued. Now, I know these are all things that can be done, but, oh, the DMV here, especially during COVID times, yikes. For those of you coming in, we are in Nolita, California. That's right next to Goleta. It connects Santa Barbara and Goleta. And they have delicious coffee from this company that I want to say, it says, join the conversation, Clatch. I'm liking the Clatch. So I, someone just asked in the chat, what is a double Americano? I did, did I say double Americano? No, I meant a red eye. 
That is three shots, potent shots, of espresso or espresso, however you pronounce it, um, and just their house coffee, which this was called headbanger blend. I'm feeling it better. I'm feeling much better. But if I feel like this tomorrow morning, I'll never get going. So my deal is I'm, I'm losing all inspiration to go to Slap City, even though the idea is sound. There is Cornelius, who is having a, uh, a whip de do that's going to be happening there at Slap City before departure somewhere else on another adventure. And I wanted to bring these books to the library. I have all these cool books. That could, I, that would, to me, would feel like, all right, I'm giving them something, bringing them more than just sake that I can't afford and a lot of beer and wine that I can't afford or the marijuana that I can't afford, but I can bring a little bit to help the cause. But that's when I realized, well, no, I don't have enough money even for the gas. If you're thinking about re-registering, that's going to be a cost. There's probably some smog thing that's going to have to be passed. See, I'm talking myself out of it where just the adventure, I should just grab the car and just throw the books in there, throw a cello in there and take off, it's only a five hour drive. How much of that drive are there gonna be police all around scoping out my registration? And I don't believe that my trial date has come up yet for, I don't think they can do a double jeopardy on me. Oh, it's a different car, so they could, different registration, yikes. I would get busted for registration on the same month. That would be hilarious. Yeah, so you see, it, now I saw someone who's already there or like a half hour away who just manifested another ride and they're at Slab City with just their backpack on their backs. And they're talking about they just manifested the rides. So maybe I could manifest the gas money. What's the worst that could happen to me? I'll just get stuck somewhere. And that's what happened when I went to Bodhi. But I didn't have cash app, so maybe you guys can help me get this started. If I know that there's a couple of people who have my back on this trip just to fork over 20 bucks now and then just for my safety. I would do it. I'll take the risk. But if I'm going to be broke, how am I going to get myself out of jail if I'm way on the other side of California somewhere? Dealing with desert cops. probably don't even put their air conditioning on their vehicles. That's another thing, health-wise. Can I take the heat? And in my cello, can it take the heat? Now, if I pick some sort of motel, I could find a cheap one and just know that I could jump there if it's too hot or cold or whatever. But if it's one of those places I've been reading there, ah, the air conditioner didn't really work too well or the heater didn't work too well either. I ended up unplugging everything. That's what I saw one of the reviews. But then there was another one for 40 bucks. You know, and I'm thinking that can't be half as much as the one I'm looking at here that's talking about roaches and stuff. How can this one But this particular motel, now it has fantastic reviews, so I don't know. And sometimes they're talking about a restaurant in the review, and I'm like, but this, 
this motel doesn't have a restaurant, why are they saying, I, I, I'm glad that we had our wedding reception here? Yeah, my research, I should have done better research. But I just want to thank you for, I'm sorry if I made anyone worry. I haven't checked anything on YouTube, but I, I have seen that I've been getting messages. So I will, when I can answer those messages, do that, I promise. But right now, yeah, I'm in a fog and I'm, I'm thinking like, I'll, if I just go to this place and then I start thinking, oh my God, what about the cat? Going, yeah, you're going just a couple days. You can make it like a three day thing. Go to this party, jam with Cornelius, give some books to the library. See if I can grab a t shirt there, a Slab City t shirt. Yeah. Maybe you get some cool footage. Mm. Then I go, well, then I should bring the Super 8 camera. Yeah, then I got to get special film. Mm. Then I got to go into L.A. first. Get this special film. That's an extra 80 bucks. I'm talking myself out of it. No, just do with what I have. Why don't I just go with this car? Oh, it's about to break now. The other car won't break down, I won't think. It just got fixed. Mm. Or I just stay here. Make it through another day. Let me know if you can help. Give me the answer. <laughs>